Three, two, one. You're live. Right. <laughs> Hello out there. I Hello, Facebook land. <laughs> I'm excited to have our wealthy goddess of the month, Andrea Zambrana, who is um, just, yeah, I'm super excited to share your story. You've been really, it's been really fun to watch you uh, these past few months and uh, what all you've accomplished and what you what you've managed to do so uh it's been it's been fabulous so you get to brag and you get to share thank you yeah so tell me what were your real estate investing goals before you joined the program uh to do something <laughs> to anything? do something anything real estate related i had been on the side i had been wanting to do something for years like mm-hmm. decades might be a wee bit of an exaggeration but not by much um but then I was a lawyer and I was having fun doing that. And it was like, oh, it's fine. You know, that was just a, a, you know, a silly pipe dream. And I'm a lawyer now. I could be a lawyer. And then I got serious about it six years ago where I, well, I was sort of realizing I really wanted to do something in the real estate s- sphere um, and started trying to make moves within my W-2 job at the time. Um, still wasn't having any progress, left that job to do another job, hoping like, okay, that will definitely give me the, um, the space to do it. And then six years later, I'm sitting in bed and I was just like, oh my God, I'm never going to do anything about this. Um, so I, I was like, I need to do something. I don't care what it is. I need to do something. So why did you join the Wealthy Goddess program? Um, so I was in bed um, and I was just sort of very like, oh my God, this is never going to happen. I'm going to be on my deathbed and this is going to be the thing that I regret. And I was reading and I had been starting to read articles and like, you know, trying to kind of educate myself. Um, and I found an article where you had spoken or somebody had spoken about you um, and like I quickly got online and I looked up your program and, you know, you're a woman of color, you're a woman. Um, and it really resonated with me what you were saying. And so I was like, I am finding out more. And so I did. Um, and it seemed to, I, I mean, I, like I have, I can do things like I can do hard things. I, I know I can do hard things and it was all just a mindset thing. And so that yeah. is what really re- resonated with me about your program is the mindset work. So, yeah, so you found it, you explored it, it was kind of resonant, the mindset piece, maybe the, it, was there anything else that was like? I, learning, like, you know, cause again, my only goal was to do something um, yeah. in real estate and that you were providing like, you know, here are all the options and like, you're going to learn about all the different ways to invest in real estate was, was really appealing. Um, and I think in that same article or shortly there, I, 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 the timing is all sort of a blur because the last several months has been a blur <laughs> um, because of it's everything that I've been doing. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> and like just what I'm doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> like with respect to the real estate and the moves that I'm trying to make. So um, the timing may not be exactly right, but about, because I live in California um, and I live in a very expensive part of California and my husband is in public interest. I'm in public interest. Um, and, you know, we make okay money, but we don't make a lot of money. So investing in California has been prohibitive, which is what has been my, what, what had stalled me for the last six years. Um, and so when I had heard you say like, you know, you don't have to invest where you live, that really resonated. I was like, wait, what? That's a, like, that could happen. And I had seen, like, I had heard about other people doing that, but it just seemed wackadoodle. I was like, that's like, that's, that's not, that's not what normal people do, <laughs> what normal investors do. So I love yeah. it. So you joined, when did you join the program? Um, like the last day of April, the first day of May, like one somewhere, like, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think my anniversary is May, May 1st. All right. So and now we're in November. About six months. We've been yeah. in okay. And 
Tell me what you've accomplished so far. Brag away. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have learned so much um, about all the different assets classes and ways to invest in markets. And um, and so I, I sort of identify, like I figured out what I wanted to do and I figured out investing out of state as a Californian was not wackadoodle. And in fact, it's what a lot of Californians do. Um, and so I picked my market. Um, I picked Chicago. And there are many reasons that a lot of people are not picking Chicago, but I, it just spoke to me. I love Chicago. Um, the prices were such that I could buy something. Um, the rents are such that it cash flows really well. Um, you know, Nothing is without hiccups, but you know, all broad strokes, brush stroke, broad brush strokes, it's good cash flow, high rents, and relatively low price points. Um, so my husband and I flew to Chicago. Um, just our kids were in camp. And so I was like, hey, it'll be a fun way for us to take, you know, get a little getaway in Chicago while the kids are at sleepaway camp. So we went. And I, you know, sort of had an idea of just get to know the market, see some things. We saw a lot of things. I put a lot of offers in. Um, none of them were accepted. I was like, even on the, uh, like, even on the, I think I put like seven offers in. It was crazy. And I kept saying like, in California, this is not kosher. Like, this is not, this, they wouldn't be cool with this. And then they're like, nope, this is totally fine. You can put in, the, you know, a lot of offers in at the same time and whichever one pick they pick it picks and I'm like well that makes sense but anyways I was on the plane and I was making offers nothing happened and then um, a couple weeks later I got an off-market deal sent to me from one of the realtors that I had connected with there um, and the numbers worked and so um, we got into contract it was a long contract process because of um, which I'm sure is true in a lot of markets but uh some of the preliminary things that have to be done, like um, appraisals and surveillance, like everything, it's all just backlogged. Mm -hmm. So I finally ended up closing on that October 15th. Um, yeah. I think we went into contract in August. Um, and in between then, I also connected um, with Monika Sawyer for the Blissful Investor. And she talked to me about the Bohr method, which is, um, Roger Blankenship's program where he buys foreclosed homes and you are in this club where you buy them uh, from him and you sell them on seller financing and that really has a tremendous cash flow um, potential um, so I bought a house like one of one of those foreclosed houses mm -hmm. and we haven't closed yet because the somewhere down the line um, they're wanting an extension so um, I'm sort of waiting on that before I do that. And, um, I think, uh, so I'll be three doors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, In and six months. Months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm now focusing on Columbus with another goddess. Um, and we're looking to sort of invest together, which I see as an accomplishment because when you, when you first start, you know, like you say this all the time, like, this is not a, this is, this is a game. This is a team sport. You have to, you know, work with people. And I was like, oh, I am an island. Like I work with nobody. Like I know what they're saying, but for me, like I'm going to be by myself. Um, like it's, if, you know, if my progress is slower, if I don't make as much money, like that's fine. I'll be by myself. Um, but through this, like I've met somebody and we really connected and, um, and so we're looking in Columbus to buy something hopefully by the end of the year. It's our whole family unit, right? Yep, exactly. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I consider that a, an accomplishment. That is huge. Yeah. That's really huge. And I love it because it's all of the things that make me so excited about, you know, what's possible in this program. You know, it's just like, I love when the goddesses get together to partner and do things together. Um, could you meet Monica through our community? Just like find yeah. her. Through, yeah. So I love that you know, it's like yep. through the community yeah. the experts and others we bring in, you know, there are different opportunities that, that come from that. Yeah. And um, so that's what, yeah, I'll just 
makes me so happy <laughs> that success and that's just in six months so amazing yeah. um what have you most appreciated about being in the program um i mean i i I think everybody says this, but it's honestly the goddesses, like the the support and the encouragement um, and the connections that and the community that you built is just great. Um, it's really uplifting, um, and I realize it's it's probably the biggest accomplishment um, in my real estate journey is I had really um, gotten really kind of. Um, felt feeling hopeless about like, this is never going to happen. I'm going to be on my deathbed and I'm going to regret never having done this. And so I'm not going to do it. And so, you know, I had sort of stopped, not necessarily trying, but believing that it was possible um, and having optimism and being positive and sort of having momentum and just like striving for something. Um, and I have rediscovered that about myself. Um, I think I, I told you this story. My my son is an incredibly positive child, and my husband and I are both, you know, um, grisly public interest lawyers. And so people who meet us are always like, "How did you get that like incredibly positive kid? Like, did you read him Tony Robbins in the womb, or did you like <laughs> play the secret to him?" And we're like, "No, I, no idea where he got it. Like, honestly, he's like an alien baby." Um, but then like through this, I have re I have rediscovered that that's me. Like, that's who I was. Um, like I, you know, I came from humble, uh, humble background and where I have gotten is not where anybody expected me to get. And I got here through like, just sort of believing it was possible and working incredibly hard to do it. Um, and I had sort of a arrived and I had sort of been kind of plateauing and not really engaging that part of me and this program has reignited that and sort of reintroduced me to my more positive happier kind of driven self which I am incredibly grateful for and appreciative of oh I love that you said that one of the things that drew you to the program was the mindset piece so that is that like what if what have you got you know well, that's, that sounds like that's part of what's like, you yeah. discovered this like happiness and yeah um, positivity, but tell, tell them more about what, what, what all the mindset work has meant or done for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, it has got me to where I am um, and sort of feeling like I can do, I can, I can do this. I can do this. It will happen. It's, you know, it, it's hard work um, for sure, but it's you work. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's work. It takes action. Um, yeah. It takes action. And it's not just, you know, you can't just will it and happen. And it just really, the program has really helped to remind me of when those has affirmed those experiences in my, in my life that that has been true for. And it's like, oh, that's right. It happened then it's going to happen now. And I just have to, you know, kind of keep believing and moving forward and doing and working on myself like I think you know people say like you have to work on friendships you have to work on your marriage but I really rarely hear anybody say you have to work on yourself and I had not worked on myself I had not paid attention to myself for years um and this program I'm like really in tune with myself when I'm always like wait is this what I want to do or is this what, like why am I doing this and, <laughs> and I hadn't I had just sort of been like going through the motions and being like a hamster on a hamster wheel and so um that's like this this program has made me in tune again with myself and what I want and clarity and you know just all the exercises that you expose us to and walk us through about you know having bragging and gratitude and like I wasn't doing any of those things before um and you know and as I have learned it's that's detrimental. Like you need to do those things. It's, so I love it. Which is obvious. Like when I say it out loud, it's like, uh, obvious. Most people don't do that. Especially no. you know, <laughs> the bragging and you know, yeah. Yeah. so, but if it, it works, that's why we do it. Yeah. The difference. Yeah. Not only do you get results, but then you feel happier. Like that's ultimately wealth, right? Yeah. Yeah not just having stuff, but 
actually like loving who you are and what you have and yeah so yeah. beautiful um what's your next big real estate investing goal um next yeah so i think my number one priority is getting sort of the next a, a bigger multifamily um like i would love it in the sort of a 20 unit sphere um arena I know that's what you, you, you and um, the other goddess are looking for now. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, um, I think I had been, a, I've been a little distracted with trying to figure out the next market to be in and um, it's not going to be Chicago. Um, but it's, so we're definitely focused in Columbus and, you know, trying to decide if we should expand and into another market and sort of kind of, you know, realizing you know, it's a heavy lift to get, to get into a market and it's better to sort of focus. Um, so that's kind of my goal is to get a 20 unit um, in a market that I want to be in for a couple of deals. <clears throat> awesome. I love it. All right. So would you recommend the Wealthy Goddess program? And if so, why? Um, I would. Um, if you are sort of if anything that I'm saying is resonating about how like you wanted to do something and you, you know, but, and you've had success in other spheres of your life, but you haven't been able to do something, the goddesses are up. Monique's program is absolutely what you need. Um, it, you make so many connections with people, you learn so much um, and you're just going to feel good about yourself at the end for what, you know, however you get there, <laughs> um, you'll feel good. I think is it's fair to say. I love that. Thank you. Okay, so now we're at the end. It's time for a trinity, which is a brag, a gratitude, and a desire. So, what is your what's your brag? My brag. Okay, for the record, you Facebook Live people. She did not give me these questions ahead of time the way she does. I did not. People. I did not. I usually do. So <laughs> she is improv to on the fly. I'm into like <laughs> improvising. Uh, <laughs> um, advancing while I ask her these things. Exactly. <laughs> um, my brag is I am in well, my brag is I think um making the connection with the other goddess and moving forward and sort of us being doing this together um, and sort of committing to being together on this next project. Well bragged, gorgeous partnership brag. And what's one thing you're grateful for? Um, uh, my property manager. That was actually what was gonna be my brag. And I was like, I have an amazing property manager, but actually <laughs> um, I, I am incredibly grateful for her. Like without her, this would have been a total S show. Um, <laughs> my deal in Chicago. So I am incredibly grateful for her she's amazing yeah i have to share the one of the things i love about andre because she she had this you know a challenging tenant and her du her new duplex who was you know who said he was paying a different rent than what was on the lease and she was going back and forth and maybe having to do an, an eviction and we were talking and then she's like, yeah, she's sharing all those things. And then she just, her, her face lit up and she's like, and I love it. <laughs> I just love this so much. I'm so excited to be doing this. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's great. There's so many different ways to play in this game. I love yeah. it. Love it. Right. This is, it's, this is very gratifying. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, I am one degree removed from that tenant. Your, your property so, manager gets the exactly. All <laughs> so they show. I do. I am confident that I would not have this big of a smile if I were the one receiving his text. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing. You can have a third party property manager. You don't have to do it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you get to be part of the decision making process, and you get the checks. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you don't have to get the calls about the toilet. Nope. But exactly all right beautiful and what is one desire um to close on my next deal that is it's very simple 
I, I write it every day in my trinities what it like my next deal yeah all right well so shall your desire be or so much better than you can imagine I don't know. I can imagine it pretty big. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> so shall it be even better. <laughs> even better. All right. Uh, All right. Never, never limit the universe. <laughs> we'll always surprise and delight you if you allow it. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you and congrats again. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, thank you. Like, thank you for creating this space and this community. And thank you. It's my pleasure. And I, I live for your stories, stories like that, like just that success, the smile that lights up your face when you guys <laughs> talk about it. Um, this is why I do what I do. And I love it. And I'm so grateful to you and each of the goddesses that are on this journey with, the, with me. So thank you. Excellent. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.